Welcome to this tech tip showing how to handle multiple setups in CAM software. This tech tip explains how edge CAM technology can be used to simplify secondary machining operations for CNC milling centers. The concept shown here can also be broadly applied to turning applications. Let's begin this turning demonstration by simulating the toolpath for the first milling setup. The machining requires milling, drilling, and deburring. The first milling setup has been done in a 5-axis CNC mill, which allows much of the part to be machined in this setup. EdgeCam simulation is excellent at predicting how the CNC machine setup will work, allowing users complete visibility of everything in the machine envelope. This ensures that the setup plan will work as intended and is free of collisions. We have excellent visibility of what the material looks like at the end of the first milling setup. Notice the hole that has been drilled through the part. This is intentional and will be used as a reference for the next milling setup, which will machine the bottom of the part in a three-axis vertical milling center. Let's get started creating the next milling setup. First, we'll turn off the display of the CNC machine in fixture temporarily and think about the origin position for the new milling setup. The part will need to be flipped over and then rotated which is similar to the current view. Let's create the CPL or coordinate plane to use for the new milling setup. We'll give the CPL a suitable name and then we'll rotate the x-axis to match the setup plan. Once that's done, we'll assign an origin at the through hole from the previous setup. We'll use the whole center for X and Y reference with Z0 at the top of the material. EdgeCam provides ability to quickly set the view reference based on the world, machine, or CPL. By assigning the view to be referenced from the active CPL, we can easily see that the origin for the next setup is in the intended location. Now we're ready to create the new milling sequence. Working in the Create Sequence drop-down list, we'll create a new milling sequence. The first page is typical of a new setup, and we'll select the machine tool and tooling package. The next page is where we have the opportunity to identify this as a secondary setup. The choice None is available if the intent was to make an independent setup. We intend this new setup to be relational to the previous one. However, we will not be using the fixturing from the previous setup. Next, we'll select the CPL we just created as the initial CPL. This establishes the zero reference for the new setup, and we have just successfully created the new milling sequence. From here, the typical CAM workflow to create tool path for the new setup can continue. The remainder of this video is provided simply to show some of those common steps, and also the final product. Let's set the view to be relative to the new setup and select the isometric view. Notice that when we turn on the machine display, the virtual setup is not complete. The part is not yet in the optimum location for machining, and there's not any work holding. EdgeCam's process workflow is flexible and allows us to add fixtures and position all items within the virtual machining assembly as needed. I've turned off the machine display temporarily to show that EdgeCam displays the in-process stock accurately. This provides the programmer with excellent visibility throughout the CAM process. Let's continue with adding a common vise from EdgeCam's fixture database and then finish assembling the items for the new setup. The virtual assembly is now complete. The next step in the CAM process is to find features which leverage solid model intelligence. The user simply verifies that the features required for the current setup are present, possibly removing any which are not applicable. Preparing geometry for machining can be done very easily using EdgeCAM. The next step in the CAM process is to build toolpath. EdgeCam toolpath can be built at the direction of the end user and also automatically by applying proven process knowledge to common features. 
We have used a combination of methods to create the toolpath for this setup. Some toolpath was created automatically, leveraging feature-based machining to quickly build toolpath for common part features. Some toolpath was created specifically by the user. One example is the probing, where I have directed that the touch probe should update the active work coordinate system using the top of the stock and the hull from the previous setup. Some toolpath was built by copying from the previous setup. For example, the holes at the edge of the top face match holes on the other side of the part. It was convenient to copy the spot, drill, countersink, and tap events from the previous setup and reuse them for these holes. EdgeCam's toolpath simulation shows the final product. We can clearly see the in-process stock used for this new setup. Equally important, we can verify that the machining process works smoothly across all machining setups. EdgeCam's toolpath simulation also provides a part-centric display. This view confirms that the machining operations across both setups result in an acceptable part.